What's up everybody? Welcome to the 8th tutorial on XHTML. Last time we learned about making a basic link. We learned that all links begin with a opening A tag and end with a closing A tag. We also learned that your website name that you want to link to goes in the href attribute in between the quotation marks. And we also learned that when linking one of your pages to another page on your same website that you don't need the HTTP www. All you need is the name of the website .html. And the last thing that we learned is when you want to open a website in a new window that you have to use the target attribute and set the value to underscore blank. And some tips for links is always name your websites in lowercase. This will make it a lot easier when you're trying to code it into your text editor. And it will save you a lot of confusion when you don't have to remember what you put uppercase and what you didn't. And another tip is to keep all of your websites in the same location. Don't put one under your hard drive and one under your... Uh, desktop and one under your favorite pictures folder keep them all in the same folder or all in the same location now let's get rid of that and start learning something new on some websites you see a link that you click in your email program automatically opens up and wants to start writing an email so here's how they make those links of course like any other link you begin with your a href equals and instead of typing an address of a website type mail to colon and type the name or the address of anyone's email address so I'll type staff at the new boston.com because that's mine and it with quotation marks and type email me here and then you end it with the end anchor tag so now if we save that and take a look at it in Internet Explorer you'll see that when you click this that automatically your email program see mine is my default is Microsoft Outlook it automatically opens and it wants to start writing an email now this is how when people make links I'll just close out of this and this is how when people make links that you click on in your email program pops up that's how you do that it's useful if you want to include your email address on any of your websites so let's apply this to something that we would actually make on a website let's say we wanted to make a section of our favorite websites so we'd first make a heading called favorite sites end it with a heading size 2 and under it we might put um, a link to YouTube it's everyone's favorite site so type a href equals in quotation marks HTTP colon www.youtube.com and it with quotation marks and we'll type YouTube right here and end it with an anchor tag of course and say you wanted to make another link to eBay so you would type your opening anchor tag href equals and type in eBay's website in the quotation marks marks dot eBay and you end it with quotation marks and just type eBay right here and of course you end it with an end anchor tag so now we have a heading our favorite websites and we have a link to YouTube and eBay underneath it and say we wanted to make uh, another link that has our email so let's put another heading heading number two 
close it, put email, and make a closing heading tag. And under it, if you wanted to make an email so people could click and email you, you write a href equals in quotation marks mail to colon and then type your email address end it with quotation marks and then you can put email me here that's what that's a very common thing and you can end it with your end anchor tag so now we have a heading two links to our favorite websites and a place where people can email us so let's save it and take a look and as you can see we have our favorite sites heading two links to some of our favorite sites and under email people can click on it and they can email us easy with one click now this is a very basic use of a very simple website it, of course you can format it to look a lot better than this but this is a basic idea and it will give you a basic structure of how to include links on your website and in the next tutorial we're going to be introducing a very important element of web page design called tables and if you're not already there you can go to www.thenewboston.com and check out all the information I talked about today thank you